We are just going to wait another minute or so to allow people who may be running a, a minute behind or so to, to join in. So just wait one moment. All right, well, it looks like everybody is here, and we'll go ahead and get started. Luckily, this is recorded, and it will be available on our website as well as our YouTube channel after um, we are finished here. So, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to attend this webinar. And hopefully, it's a nice educational break in your day. So, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, before we jump right in, I do ask that you hold all of your questions until the end. We do have a Q&A form, and once we hit that slide, you'll be able to type in your questions throughout in the chat box on the lower left-hand corner. So if we don't answer your question throughout this presentation, type it in, and we'd be happy to answer it to the best of our ability at the end of it. All right, so let's jump right in. So, your presenters today, um, myself, my name is Kelsey, and I am the Digital Marketing Specialist here at REC. I'm Velma Cochran, Marketing Customer Service Representative. And I'm Tanya Spain, Senior Marketing Strategist. And Mike will be joining us in just a bit. He's wrapping up a call with a customer right now, so we will hopefully hear from him in a little bit. So to kind of touch base on what we will be going over today, we'll be talking about the best ways to set yourself up for success, finding your target audience, be yourself, we'll touch base a little bit on networking, visual content, the importance of email blasts, as well as social media posts, go over the Active Rain platform, and then some additional tips and tricks, and then we will jump into that Q&A form for um, our panel here to go over any, any questions that you may have. Okay, so jumping right in. Setting yourself up for success. Mortgage originators um, build relationships through three different categories. One is working on existing loans with underwriters to clear conditions. Two would be finding out the status of loans and informing your borrower and realtor about it. And three, communicating with your processor to get what they need. So focus on your business development and not just simply lead generation. Um, clients do see more value in this long term and it will help build your brand awareness. So kind of following that, just be consistent with your brand message. That's the ultimate goal here. Uh, this will very well result in increased business development. So that kind of loops back around to the previous point. And find referral partners to focus on forming new business. But remember, no matter what, the customer always comes first. So finding your target audience. Um, if you specialize in something particular within the mortgage industry, mention it. Um, you want to be clear and transparent. So whatever you have to offer is out there and there is no confusion. For example, you specialize in VA loans or maybe you're specialized in manufactured homes. Having too broad of an audience may be hurting your business. Narrow it down into two different categories. Um, one would be the new, new home buyers. So they are looking for guidance. They're not 100% focused on pricing. They're more concerned about good customer service. So make sure you establish and continue to build that relationship with them. And then thirdly, the referral drive. Again, good service. Um, the more positive word of mouth referrals that you can get, the better. People tend to trust people more than just going on the internet and searching for something. And then your other segmented group would be your refinance shoppers. They're willing to shop around for quotes a little bit more. They have more knowledge of what they're doing because, of course, they've bought a home before, so they kind of know how to play the game a little bit better than new home buyers. And then real estate agents. Say why you're the best person for the borrower to obtain a loan through. You want to be able to market to them as well. 
So a bunch of pieces to the puzzle that you're trying to put together at one time. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Velma. I'm Velma Cochran, and I am here to assist you with any questions or concerns you may have. And first of all, just be yourself. It's important to represent your company in a professional manner. People, however, do buy into a person's first before a small company. Show your smiling face on social media through emails. Sometimes a company logo can be intimidating or a turnoff. Borrowers may want someone they know and trust. Create a good vibe. And then networking. 82% of Americans seek recommendations from family and friends when considering products and or services. Match a friendly face to a name. Travel to your client if at all possible. Attend mortgage trade shows and industry mixers. For example, the NAME shows. Get involved in the community, sponsor a walk or a family event, especially in a growing area. Use your social media platforms to show how actively engaged you are in the community. This adds credibility to you. And now I'm going to turn this over to Tanya. She's going to give you some expert ideas. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Tanya, and I'm going to talk to you first about visual content. Videos, webinars, or infographics are the best way to reach your audience in a short amount of time. And keep in mind, your audience has a short attention span, so these really work well. Share a few groundbreaking mortgage statistics in an image and post that to social media. It'll generate conversation, and you can create an image using a free platform online. For example, Canva is one of those free online platforms. Share pictures on your website and social media pages of the success you've had with creating happiness for your clients. Testimonials are a great way to go about doing this. You may also ask your clients to submit a similar review on your Google Plus or your Facebook page. Now let's talk about email blasts. Email is an easy, inexpensive way to reach a lot of your current and future customers at one time. Target a certain group. You can target leads or current clients and personalize your emails to their name. It's a good idea to try not to keep the focus on promoting your products and services. Do include interesting, hot topics about questions you encounter, tips, how-to guides, helpful information, etc. You may feature a new product or service based on one of those topics as a way to discuss your products and services in a more authentic way. Keep it short, sweet, and to the point. Try to send an email out at least one time every two weeks to keep a consistent touch point with your recipients. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to pass it over to Kelsey. Fantastic. Yeah, I think um, Mikey's on the phone still with a customer, and so we pride ourselves on having the best customer service as a mortgage lender. So I will go ahead and just improvise and take over his slides right here. So social media, and that's fine because I love this topic. Um, if you can, create a LinkedIn and Facebook page if you have not done so already. So these pages ultimately create opportunities for your current or potential customers to see what you're doing. This keeps your company at the top of their mind. Posting and or sharing content frequently on social media will build and maintain credibility about three to five times per week is the suggested amount. Post on your business page if you have one. And then share your content via your personal profile if you have one as well. So you want to make sure that you keep your personal content off of your business page, but you are more than welcome and highly encouraged to put your business content on your personal page. So ultimately, this is going to increase your brand awareness. It's a great supplement to what you already have going for you. And it gives the audience the opportunity to speak highly of your company. So you also have ad options available as well on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Um, included in this are tools that are included in a dashboard to analyze your results and help you figure out how to get better. 
An example of a social media ad is here. Um, you could say, time to buy your first home, save up to X amount. Click here to see if you qualify. That's a great call to action and it states exactly what you're doing. And um, if someone's interested, they will click it. Okay, so then keep it short. Focus on one or two channels, meaning Facebook and LinkedIn or Instagram and Facebook. Keep it relevant. The content should be thought out. Don't just put stuff out there because you want to post three to five times a week. Make sure it's good quality content. Schedule out your posts so you don't forget. So Buffer, which is a free platform, allows you to connect your social media platforms, all of them, and schedule out your content in one place. If you prefer just to stick with one platform for now, like Facebook, for example, you can schedule out posts there as well. Respond to people who interact with you, good or bad. This is a big one. This shows you're actively engaged with your current and future customers. Make sure you include hashtags, which are important keywords, to improve your engagement throughout the platform. And send traffic to your website from your social media pages. So you want to make sure that you remember that your social media pages are a supplement to your website. Include a link to connect it so someone can just do the easy one click from your social media page. And remember the platforms, oh, I just said that, platforms are a supplement to your website. So that's how important it is. <laughs> okay, jumping in to Active Rain. This is a tool for loan officers, real estate agents, and brokers to publish their content and promote listings. So you're able to learn from one another and improve your business by collaborating on this platform. It also gives you the opportunity to answer questions posted by borrowers. This opens the door to establish a good relationship with them. And the best part about it, it's completely free. And last but certainly not least, some additional tips and tricks for you. So one, clean up your internal customer database so your list is accurate when sending out email blasts. Two, keep your website clean and simple, even if it's only one page. The easier it is to use, the more engagement you may see on your website. Include a contact us form on your webpage. Content that needs to be filled out is limited but effective. Some of the common entries that we see are name, email, phone number, and an optional message. If you get any more detail than that and ask for additional information, it may be a turn off to the person who is actually might be a, a customer in the near future for you. So the message, make sure you're direct, especially with one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, show the value first of yourself and your company and the price later. And last but certainly not least, we definitely believe in this here at RIC, handwrite thank you notes to people. It allows you to connect on a deeper level, it makes people feel appreciated and acknowledged, and it does make a lasting impression. Fantastic. All right, well, we are wrapping up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Q&A form. If you guys have a question, please feel free to go ahead and submit it. Um, just type it in the chat box in the lower left-hand corner of your screen and we can answer that for you. In the meantime, if you want to take down our phone number and contact information, it is displayed on your screen. Um, and we will go ahead and wait a minute or two for any incoming questions. Maybe we won't have any questions. <laughs> Hopefully this answered a lot of questions for the people coming into the, the, the webinar today. Oh, I think I saw one person. There we go. Okay, one question came in from Brett. Do you have any resources for people that help you implement it? Of course. 
But this is what our marketing team is comprised of. We would love to help you. So if you have anything in particular or um, have any specific questions, we'd be happy to help you. Give us a call at that number, that 813 number on your screen, or you can just shoot us over an email at marketing at racmtg.com. We'd be happy to help you out. Okay, Dimitri and Julie Johnson team. Do you guys have any tips for Facebook marketing that will be helpful for promoting REC programs? Yeah, um, sharing our content that we post out. We do it daily, if not twice daily. Um, we have a lot of different content that we post out, so maybe one day you might see a blog on there or a link to a, another resource, or you may see an image on there. Um, go ahead and feel free to share that. That content is all good stuff on there. If you need anything customized too, we can help you out with that. So feel free to, uh, to reach out to our team. That's what we're here for. Great, can you do any white labeling? Of course, yes. Do you want to expand on that time? Yeah, if there are certain... Um, Perfect. <laughs> you can add to it. Yeah. We have a lot of really wonderful marketing resources that might have rack branding on them. And if you'd like us to white label that or basically put your branding on our marketing resources so that you can distribute those in your company's name, we're happy to discuss options and come up with something that will work for you to help you reach the customers you're trying to target. Yep. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, Cindy asked, we are often told we should not use Facebook or social media marketing because it's so heavily regulated. Loan originators could often violate the rules and regulations if not done properly. Any advice on how to assure we are in compliance? That's a great question, Cindy. Um, honestly, looking at the Facebook rules and regulations would probably be first and foremost. And then um, I'm not sure if you've experienced anything personally or if you're just maybe hesitant. The worst thing that Facebook is going to do is to tell you to take the post down. I wouldn't put, I would really just try to stay away from the normal big three, you know, politics, money, and religion. Besides that, you could really be friends with anybody on there and, and talk about that. So, um, when in doubt, Cindy, you can definitely share RIC's content. So that's always good resources and that's, um, you know, compliant with, with standards for any of our social media platforms? That's a great question. Look and see if we missed any. I don't think we did. Not worry about Facebook. More concerned with advertising regulations that govern the mortgage industry. Yeah, that would be, um, Cindy, that would be something that we could look into. If you're concerned about something specific, we'd be happy to look into it for you. Send us um, send us your marketing stuff that you're using now, Cindy. We could take a look at it for you and see. Just make sure it's kind of a good checks and balances system for between us and, and yourself. So uh, we definitely don't want to get in trouble, <laughs> that's for sure. These are some really great questions coming through. Any other questions that you guys can think of? Maybe one more coming in. <laughs> Um, Cindy, I do know this. This it's more about posting interest rates. That's the mortgage industry have regulated. So yeah, um, I would maybe stay away from posting specific things like interest rates. Um, 
I know that is heavily regulated. Post more about the value of your company rather than just, hey, you know, it's low interest rates today or whatever. Um, you want to make sure that you're posting more about the value of your company instead of just particular numbers that people are going to sift through. Thanks for contributing, um, the Dimitri and Julie Johnson team. Appreciate that. Does um, does anyone have any other questions? Now that I think of it too, Cindy, um, interest rates are kind of heavily regulated on social media, but also don't guarantee something. Um, just stay away from the word guarantee. That's, um, I would highly encourage that. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, um, do we have any, any more questions? We'd be happy to answer. We have a few minutes left. I like the conversation on where it's going. Great. It's really, really good questions. All right. Um, it looks like those are all of the questions for today. Um, if you guys think of any questions or maybe you just want to ask it privately to one of our team members, whatever floats your boat, feel free to contact us. Like, Call us um, with the number on that screen or email us, and we are very responsive, so we'd be happy to help you out. So thank you again, everyone, for attending this webinar. We appreciate it. We hope you got some good stuff out of it, and hopefully we'll be speaking soon. Thank you. Thank you.